Hello friends! June's Steam Next Fest continues. In the last video, which I think was episode or demo 11, I said that I'd actually ran out of the Metroidvanias that I was going to play. This isn't entirely true. What I actually meant was I'd ran out of games that had, of, had obviously got or prominently got the Metroidvania tag, but since I downloaded those demos, obviously tags on Steam are user generated and certain things had been added, certain things had not been added and I've got a little bit more time to take a look through. So here we have Forgotlings. Now I kind of bounced off this because the Metroidvania tag was not one of the things that Steam had tagged it with. Yet it was in the Metroidvania category and the devs in the description mention that it is a Metroidvania. So I'm going to try it. It's going to have 30 minutes to impress me and then I'll make a decision on whether I think, well, this is or is not actually a Metroidvania because there are some games that are Metroidvanias in names only and there are some games that just aren't mentioned as Metroidvanias like the Ramsey, which still doesn't say it's a, it's a Metroidvania and it very clearly is. 30 minutes on Forgotlings begins now. Choose your difficulty level. If you are more interested in experiencing the story of the game, a low difficulty level will make combat in the game very easy. Well, I am fine with normal. How hard can it be? <laughs> How can I've got a couple of Souls likes to play later. So, Forgotlings takes place, takes place in the Forgotten Lands where lost and forgotten objects from the human world wake up as sentient beings called Forgotlings. Nice premise. You play as a Forgotling called Fig, who awakens to find himself in the Forgotten Lands, a, wall, a world even, torn by strife between rival tribes. In this demo, Fig and a group of newfound friends have travelled to an ancient mountain site, comma, Agora. They hope to find answers to the question driving the actions of all Forgotlings, the quest to rediscover their purpose. Cool setup. Nice arts. Like that. That's beautifully drawn. As is this. Very atmospheric. Very consistent. New memories. I hope Sylvia's safe. Full voice acting. Well, can't say that from one line really, can I? But voice acting is a thing. Figures entered the inside of Agora Mountain in search of his friend Sylvia. But bandits roam the mountain seeking to pillage its secrets. Press options to enter the pause menu and access controls to learn how to control Fig. This particular demo features a lot of combats. You can change the difficulty level in the settings. This... This is hand animated. Like proper Saturday morning cartoon in the 90s, not the kind of computer generated often effect that we have. That's a lot of animation frames for, for hand animation. Especially if you... It's even got a climbing up slopes animation. Um, that's a lot of things that need changing if feedback is... Okay, let's, let's take a, a look at the controls. First of all, we've got a, a slight turning animation on the left and right. That's absolutely fine. It's not super snappy. We've got a, a reasonably a reasonably committed jump. We've got a, a slash. Three hit combo. Attack changes if you are holding forwards when you start it. So this is on its own. This is holding forwards. We do not have a crouch. We cannot attack up. We have a parry, it looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. L2 is a parry. And that's R2, which looks a lot like taking a Polaroid picture. 
And then if we press attack in the air, we do a, a down spike attack. Yeah, because the the jumping feels quite precise. Oh, we get a better look at the character. Better. Better. Oh dear lord, my enunciation. We get a better look at the character. We've got a face on our chest. Sylvia's yawn on these bandit armor. The That's Sylvia's yarn on this band. That grammatically that sounds a bit weird. No fall damage, at least not from that. Haha, I found a glowing rock. Crystal dig sites offer the possibility to regenerate Fig's health. You can also choose to mine them instead for valuable crystals. And we have to forcibly pick things up. Okay. So we're going to go with a, a very deliberate pace. But climbing animations as well. Yeah. Right, I think we can only climb up in specific... Yeah. We can only climb up in specific locations. Pickup animation is quite long, so you're not going to want to do that in combat. I guess what? I'm here, a trespasser on better territory. I better tread carefully. Uh... The this, this is going to sound a bit weird considering the microphone ha uh, issues that I've been having over the last few videos. Um, but the 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 sound of those voice lines is almost like they're dipping in and and out. So, is this a secret area? Fig, oh, I didn't see the tip because I was already doing it. Fig can wall jump. One in the air near a wall. Press X to wall jump. Nice bit of silhouette style gameplay. Looks like there's a hole in the ceiling there. It's awfully dark here. I should feed this oven some crystals. Okay. Ooh, that's... I didn't realise that was a thing because it's not silhouetted like the, the, the rest of the stuff. So the foreground is silhouetted, but the actual gameplay space is not. Please, my Vadera colleagues will be looking for me. Shut it! We want to get out of here just as much as you... Nobody's leaving till the boss gets what he wants. Leave it be, Forgotling. Just hurry up and tell us what it says. Punctuation on the, the text is different there from... There is a whole lot of bandits down there. <laughs> I'm not sure my intervention here and now would be a good idea. I better stay out of sight and move on until I get a good sense of the space. Okay. <gasps> this sorcery is the precursor to the very technology powering your armor. Please have some respect. Some physics on the rope climb. Ah. Ah. Telescope. Okay, so we can get a, a viewpoint on the actual game world. Oh, they can still move while we are stuck in a...
the uh, the hitbox on that is yeah okay I can see why they recommended. Dan is here. He's over here. I'm taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, that's a stun, I think. Yes, okay. So they have got a lot more enemies than I had realised. Right. I'm kind of intrigued. Because I thought this was a secret route. And therefore, I continued exploring down it. But actually, actually, Damagen, there is or was another pathway. Oh, interesting. I can't get back. Oh, I've got a block move as well. I should probably use that. So, we need to be a little bit more sensible. There is a whole lot of bandits down there. I'm not sure my intervention here and now would be a good idea. Uh, better stay out of sight and move on until I get a... I, I believe Fig was correct in this estimation of both his and my <laughs> combat prowess. Now, what will happen if we do move on? We have made a choice. Who am I reporting to again? Don't ask me. Oh. If they told you to get to the gate there, just get there and you'll find out. Let me know if you meet anyone who actually knows who's paying for this gate. They got to have deep pockets. All right. The armor were in the hut, you said? Yes, yes. Just hurry. The Let armor were the in the hut. Everyone's had enough of this place. It's getting worse lately with the lost pieces. It's heavier than the training sample. I have to get used to this. Mm. Just get in a hole and turn left at the first junction. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> How do I get past this bandit? Stab him in the back? Psst. What are you waiting for? Huh? Huh? Take him out. He's not going to hear you behind those plates. Who is that? Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. So we have backstab gameplay. Cool. I like that. There was a forgotling here. Who was that? Interesting that that was not voice acted. Okay, so we're going to have... Hmm. When there are bandits inside these huts, they will light up the fire outside. Okay, stealth mechanics. Seems like a network of shafts for bandits to get around. So if we set off an alarm, they can all get here. I'm intrigued by this. That barrel moved. Wash after use, a note reads. These are bandit armor. Uh, that, uh, again, English teacher. Subject verb agreements. These are bandit armor isn't good English. This is bandit armor. Absolutely fine. These are bandit armors? No. These are bandit armor. Definitely no. This is bandit armor. Or well, these are pieces of bandit armor. Okay, that's a push block. And again, it's it's all got animation. That is very, very time consuming. You again. Is it just a periscope? 
I recall lost pieces were kept in these barrels. Better leave them be. Okay. But what if I don't want to? <laughs> what if I want to know what a lost piece is? To get past the arms. Might be handy against bandits as well. I am a tub. Perfectly hidden. Just call me Solid Snake. Okay. Loot in the form of pharaohs and crystals should be stored in yellow barrels. Remember, you will get your fair share. Uh huh. Steel. That's ironic. I'll find a way to return the stolen wealth to the victims one day. Okay, but we can't get up there unless. Is Sylvia's yawn? Aha! No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Do I need to push it all the way up in order to get... I do. But I'll be holding straight up for that. Yeah, so very methodical. This definitely seems like it's going to be a, a, a slower paced experience. Or well, now at least. I want I kinda wanna hit those green barrels. I've got no way of getting through there. Oh, I've got a back step on, on circle. Yeah, I've I've got no um I've got no crouch move. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it. I've made a terrible mistake. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so when it says don't hit the green barrels because lost piece is bad. There was a Oh, that's just a prompt for climbing. Uh, yes, they were they were 100% accurate with that. So good to know. Don't hit the green barrels. Uh, that's not actually how I was expecting that to to do its thing. But yes, because of the the way the the jump has a very kind of specific length to it. You can actually... It reminds me of the original Tomb Raider, where you, you had a very specific grid-based jump length. Double the amount of bolts on barrels with lost pieces. Fit accidents. Uh -huh. What is it these bandits are out to get on this mountain? What indeed? There were lost pieces below. Oh, I see. So when I was trying to use that lever before, it's not a case of you have to hit the button and that's it. You actually have to hold the button and pull the lever. So the lost pieces don't like the lights.
Yeah, so it automatically crouches into holes. But only if you've kind of jumped into them. This looks like I can... Hmm. Push this off the side. Will this also break or will this be more robust? This will be more robust. I can use that to climb up. But also... This... This has got a very interesting... I should go see that Vagarling earlier. Perhaps he has info on where Sylvia might be found. Okay, so a reminder not to go this way just yet. Nice speedy animation for getting down. Ah, so if we drop off at a certain way, that needs to be made a bit Hello. clearer, Where's I think. Your green flag? Are you another daredevil attempting an ascent? It is very British. One with huge antlers sneaking past here earlier. Not very talkative. It must be Sylvia, a friend of mine whom I've been looking for. I'm Vic. She looked intent on climbing the mountain as quickly as she could. I'm Glass, and soon to be Sanavi. Once I've proven how capable I am mapping out this bandit operation, I fully expect to be inducted into the Sanavi tribe. Yeah, I heard the Sanavi are coming. Evergen's ears picks up. They have taken a Sanavi captive, trying to get him to repair the elevator. They need it to get all their loot down. Take a look at my drawings here. It has got all the info regarding the bandit's different armor types. Uh, impressive, eh? Mm -hmm. Don't attempt surprise attacks on beetles, it says. Heavily armored, hard to get past. Okay. Toads often position themselves from a distance where their long-range weapon gives them an advantage. The Forgotlings who pilot these often seem to be of the spineless type. Lizards, on the other hand, seem to be piloted by Forgotlings eager to prove themselves. Lightly plated and fitted with small wheels, lizards are agile and dangerous in numbers. I'm Glass, by the way. You can spot my safe spaces by the green cloths. I'm small, so I'm able to escape the bandits and freely move around the mountain unsighted. Mm. I especially enjoy nooks with crystals present. They give me calm and rejuvenate me. Ancient soil sure has its power. Now, if you'll excuse me... Yeah, the voice actor actually really made a choice to change the dialogue there to be proper. Bye, and good luck. Oh, wait. Thanks for all the sharing. Glass. Glass. Okay, uh, we don't really need any health, so... I'm impressed that we do not break our sword doing that. Right, one thing that I hadn't checked... Uh, what? I haven't checked the menus. Standard totem. All boards come with standard two black and white Eno totems. Games. Okay. So this this is the memories tab. This is the inner tab. It looks like inner is going to be some kind of game. Um, one thing I'm not noting is a map. Block. Flash blinds enemies. 
fast forward slash observe, interact, roll, jump, attack, look around, move. Down and square for heavy attack. Forward and square. I'd figured out the forward square thing. Ah, crouch on L3. Ah, okay then. That, uh, that needed to, to be made clear, probably with a tutorial right there. Because up until this point, we've automatically crouched um, in the appropriate places. Okay. But I am noting the lack of a map. And obviously, as somebody who plays a lot of Metroidvanias, I'm very much of the opinion that a Metroidvania should have a map. And if it doesn't have one, there are issues. I thought glass might give us a map. It's but just straight up ahead from here. Thanks. Don't thank me. Pray you won't get strangled by the forgotling I heard roaming around. Strangled? <laughs> the only trace it leaves are these pieces of red yarn. Scary stuff. Sylvia. Okay. Are they patrolling? Yeah, this has actually got a bit of a... a kind of old-school Prince of Persia or flashback feel to it. Where everything is very precise and methodical in terms of where you position yourself and so on and so forth. S strongest sword. I think some people will probably bounce off this because of the, the slower pace. But I'm quite liking... I mean, there's, uh, it's only going to take so long for the novelty of the animation to to wear off. There's going to have to be some entertaining combat and stuff like that. Shortcut acquired. All right, we can't get up there. How does this... Yeah, we can wall jump up to that, so that's cool. Uh, there's a guard over there. Who sneeze? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, I don't think I can do anything with that there, but... Is that a passageway? It is not. Oops. The issue, such as it is with the precision, is that I'm not a very precise person. Ah, I think this is just to get... Uh, we've got some weird Z issues. Did you see where that piece of wood? There. It disappears. It appears. Very minor. But in, in a game so obviously handcrafted, I, I imagine that is something that they will want to. Fix. Mm. You see nothing. I'm just a tub. Right, you can't see me here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Too slow, my crossbow tooting friend. Tooting? Crossbow tooting. Let me toot you with my crossbow. Was this a... 
No, I thought that might have been one of the... Oh, there's a... There's a rope there as well, which I couldn't see. Yeah, th there's a little bit of kind of Mark of the Ninja style feel to this. Ah, that's how we get up to these additional bits. We can't get up to there, though. Okay, yeah. I I'm liking the feel of this. I'm liking the feel of this. Unfortunately, the timer is almost up. But I have gone over with several games, so that's quite a nicely painted background as well. And a, a very different visual kind of style to the foreground, so it's separation. Hey, you guys, you're taking over here. We need a break and are heading to the camp. Wait, I'm new here. I don't think I'm ready to guard this place alone. We're not <laughs> leaving. Don't worry. By the way, the order is to crack open the gate in the back there. Take a look. And if you have any ideas, let us know. Wait, what was that? Uh oh. Hey, you! Block all exits! That's the timer. I'm going to continue, at least through the end of this fight. Okay. I'm innocent. Please don't hurt me. Oh, pilot. We you shall survive for now, pilots. Uh I think I took full damage there. did uh, i'm not sure what's happening behind that rock i think that needs uh, a little bit more clarity for level design purposes but yes good to know that there is in fact full damage I'm not going to pack you but you shouldn't take part in this in the first place stuff inside this blade. I swear I didn't what? have a choice. None of the tribes want me, so my Aww. only option was Poor to kill bandits. I feel sorry for him. Hmm? I have no indication as to what these symbols mean. There is a ship docked here at Agora named Volad. Okay, so if we click on them, it gives us extra information. Until I get back. Oh, thank you. I will. And please, don't be too harsh on the others here on the mountain. I believe they all have their reasons for joining the bandits. I'm merely destroying the armor and disarming them. I hope once they regain consciousness, they will rethink their prospects and leave this line profession. Now off you go. Kind of an Errol Flynn, Robin Hood style character, isn't he, Fig? One thing I haven't checked, do we have D-pad movement? We do not. No D-pad movements. A bandit in beetle armour. Their armour is thick, and according to glass, I won't be able to sneak up on them with a surprise move. Yeah, there must be a way to leverage my position here above. Oops. One in the air, press down, uh, press square to perform a down strike. Only works beyond a certain height from the ground. I got my eyes on him. Well, that didn't work. And there's no getting out of here, so... Uh. 
Unfortunately, I'm a master swordsman. <clears throat> yes, what I was attempting to do was drop down to the ledge grab position on the cage up there and line myself up that way. What actually happened was that I just fell off the edge and didn't press the button fast enough and, and GG, well played, Demogen. Right, I'm going to use this to heal. And I can still mine it afterwards. But I assume that removes it as a heal possibility if I come back through later. So... Yeah, you don't need to press the direction for that. Nice. Proper swashbuckly. I'm liking this. I think this is nice, nicely done indeed. I'm glad I took the time. Mary is infested with bandits. I need to be careful and proceed without alerting anyone. Got to get to that exit over there. Yeah, I'm glad I took the time to uh, to look into this. Huh. There's an enemy hut right here. There is. And glass is up there. Is that glass? What is he doing here? He's spying, because that's literally right, his job. I need to somehow get past this attentive lizard first. Perhaps I could lure him away from his patrolling. Triangle to lure a nearby enemy with a whistle sound. Who's there? Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got proper stealth mechanics. That, of course, slows down the pace of the game and makes it more methodical, but I like stealth mechanics. There's a wall there. Right, how do I get... Can I hide behind that pillar, maybe, once this guy buggers off to the right? I can. Nice. Stabby, stabby time. Now, wasn't there another one? Or have they, they've gone up ahead. Okay. Hey, glass. Oh, no, that's glass. What did I just pick up? Glass, what are you doing? I told you I'm here to collect data on the bandits. That's what I said. Good hiding spot. Those lizards won't be able to reach us here. You know, sometimes if you're spotted, it is better to find an escape and just wait until things calm down before you head back in. Mm -hmm. I believe you. I feel sorry for you being so big and with those flailing limbs. I've got to go. You can rest up here for as long as you like. See ya! Okay. I'm going to leave that as is. That. Yeah, so we stay in crouch states. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, right. But 
I could have lured him down. Uh, will this work? Who's there? It will. Stab! Nice. Not close enough. Oh, that's cool. You can flitter back between them. There's another enemy up there. Right. Wait. Who's there? Nobody? Not what you're talking about. Now, uh, th this is one of the things that we can't backstab, isn't it? And it's guarding a shiny. Oh, I thought that was an entrance. It's not. Ah, I wonder. I wonder. Okay, so we can't... I got my eyes on him. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Okay. I need to find an escape exit. Lest I want to take on an army. Perhaps stay hidden with God. the for a while. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's nobody here. Stay alert, everyone. Okay. So scooting behind the pillar doesn't actually keep you hidden. Not entirely sure what happened there, but somebody spotted me, clearly. Stay alert, everyone. So yellow state is people on alert. They can't reach me. That's why <laughs> they're just gonna throw themselves at it. Back to positions. Right, do they all return to Yeah, it looks like they returned to where they were. Okay. So, understanding how the stealth mechanics work are obviously pretty important. I heard that. There's no one here. Yoink! Dude, uh, uh, have you not noticed the fact that the thing you were guarding has disappeared? I like that. I like that as a mechanic. A great deal. Belly face? I don't know what this is for. I, I, I'm trying to build, bring up a map, but there's no map button. Um, ah! I can probably just jump up there, can't I? Yes, I can. You 
made it all the way to here. I did. I'm surprised myself. Didn't manage to avoid confrontations with the bandits. They've taken Finger and are forcing him to repair the elevator. Please, if you do see him, make sure he is okay. Finger, you said? He is a Sanavi stationed here to I'm intrigued as to what a Sanavi is. I'm sure he's not too fond of being held captive by the bandits. Who would All be? Right. I'll keep an eye out for him. Cozy space. He's got a fridge. <laughs> Thanks. When I need a break, I'm practicing my Ina game here. Do let me know if you're up for a game. Challenge forgot. Oh, doorbell. Okay, I pressed stop recording instead of pause recording, so I've lost track entirely of, of how much time we spent playing already. Savages who raided the mountain a week ago broke the elevator mechanisms. Now, those same bandits are lamenting the fact that they are broken. Yes, so British. Right, uh, what did I need to press? Square. Let's see if you're as good at Ina as infiltrating the bandits. I will probably not be good at Ina. Play tutorial. Ina is a turn-based game, and a coin flip determines which side is white and which is black. Okay. This tutorial, I will assume white, so I'll make the first move. White takes the first move, very chess-like. Eight stones in our pouches. There are five types of power stones in Ina, each with their own unique power that can be triggered during the game. Okay. In the short time I've spent at the camp, I've only been able to acquire a handful of these power stones, but I will share them with you. The oh, rest that's of very kind. stones will be blank with no powers. All right, let's move on. You okay. draw a random stone every turn and place it on the board. Right. You can place stones on unoccupied spots on the board. You can see the available spots uh, being highlighted. Usually, you can only place a stone adjacent to another stone of yours. Usually. Uh, however, the very first stone you are free to place anywhere on your half of the board. Our okay. halves on the board are indicated by our respective tribe totems. Now, let me place a stone. Uh -huh. After placing a stone, there is a power phase where I can trigger the abilities of any power stones I have on the board. A power stone, it can only be activated once during the game. So this is where the tactics comes in. To decide when is the best time to use their stone powers. I will I be terrible at this. Sunavi stone here, and this stone's power enables it to move to an adjacent spot. I will use it now. There. Your turn now. Okay, so he's moved it back for stone. reasons. Oh, and you don't need to memorize everything I say. I have written down the rules and stone powers in a handy little manual. You can access this anytime during a match. That's what that is. Server stone. Use power to prevent opponent from placing stones on spots in a straight axis from the server stone for one turn. Yes. Good. Now you have prevented me from placing any stones on the block spots during my next turn. If you are curious, I've learned that the power stones are named after each of the five tribes in the world. Uh, the Servus, the Karas, the Videra, the Sunavi, uh, and, uh, wait, what was it now? Oh, yes. The Alfuero. Now, Alfuero. the goal of the game is to claim as many squares as possible before you run out of stones. But we've only got eight if each. Both out of stones, the player with the most claimed squares has won the game. The way okay. to claim squares is to enclose them with your stones. For example, if I place my stones like this in my upcoming turns, or like this, claimed squares have a crystal piece placed on them. Okay. You can use the edge of the board to enclose squares as well, like this. Okay, let's continue where we left off. I will place my stone here. Your turn now. Uh, remember, you can only place stones adjacent to other stones of yours. 
Try to uh -huh. work towards claiming squares. Okay. So he's going to claim. I uh, don't need to select that. Use that there. Don't want to activate that. Right. You're going there. And I'm going to activate that. But why is that? So does that count as having claimed that spot? In which case, if I put one here, it does. Okay. Good, good. You've got the hang of it now. So you don't you need one in the middle. The if you manage to enclose an opponent's totem, you win instantly. So make sure to protect your totem. Now, okay. Let's try out a real game with no hand holding. Oh dear. Okay. Gonna save that. I think I know what I'm doing here. Okay, that didn't... That got it. So that's given him move that over there. Did I win or lose? A no, black won, white lost. Hooray! I've won my first and possibly only game. Oh, and now we can gamble currency for it as well. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So there's an entire mini game in it, which adds to that sense of methodical pace. Oh, I should have stayed down there and got the barrels. Yeah. 
Yeah, got some Zed planing there as well. A note reads, the Sanavi are coming. Devil shifts expected. Get a move on. Crystals stuck up by morning and get the fresh and packed up and ready for transport. Huh? Elevator should be up and running again soon. Oh, shoot. But it still counters being visible, I guess. So, I, I'm, I'm going to sum up, I think, here. This strikes me very much as the kind of game that I like, but probably isn't very good to watch. Except maybe at, like, double speed or something. I think this is probably a little bit too slow for some people, but I like kind of methodical bits uh, like this. I like it a great deal. Yeah, you know, Mark of the Ninja and its stealth gameplay was, was something that I very much appreciated. I am a little bit torn. I'll be back soon and I want to see all these cages filled up with crystals. Shovel? I'm doing the best I can. Huh. I I could see how this could be a Metroidvania, but I, it doesn't look or feel like one right now. Oh, great! What do you want? First, I'm sent here as a new spawn to He's very northern. By intolerable Sanavi forgotlings, then bandits take over and bandits push me take to the over. Ring. I'm not taking on any new masters. Go away and let me dig my own grave. Might be better just to leave him be. Okay. So we have the option of leaving him be. <gasps> ah, a power stone. Yeah. The... The feeling of exploration definitely kind of has those Metroidvania elements to it in potentia. She's getting away. Sylvia. End demo or turn back. So that is actually the end of the demo. Uh, let's end the demo. And do, do we have a cutscene or... Step forth today. Take destiny into your own hands. Time is running out for all of us. This here is a shooting star. Where am I? Can he fight? Is that silver? What can I do? Unite the tribes. Revive the council. If we are to get all the chefs to speak to each other, we have to be able to look beyond our differences. An intruder! Rock all exits! Uh-huh. Oh, I keep forgetting about the camera flash thing. Why are you crying? Father was right. You just have forgot like you wouldn't understand. This world needs more than fighters. Are you ready to learn, Ina? No. <laughs> but I tried! I guess it's well worth the time. An ancient prophecy foretells a creature. This has got uh, such, such a Saturday morning cartoon feel to it, hasn't it? Even the music. I apologize. Humans got us into this mess. It's time to sever the connection. If you do this, the world will end. This is quite cool. Yeah. 
That is going on my wish list. Yeah, that's that's going on my wish list right now. In fact, the 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 question of whether it's actually a Metroidvania or not is yeah is is definitely a, a challenging one. According to Steam, it is uh, it's tagged with adventure, story rich, action adventure, and RPG. Um. See, it says, choose your destination in your quest to unite all things lost in this semi-open world Metroidvania. So to me, I mean, that, that's, that's not a tag. That's what the developers have written. So it sounds like they are going for Metroidvania leanings, but there doesn't seem to be an actual map unless I've just missed it. Now, maybe it's not in the demo. Maybe they have no intention of doing one. I I don't know. I feel like I would probably get quite lost in a, in a more open version of this world. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it has been added to my, my wish list. I've been quite impressed with that. Definitely slower pace than maybe a lot of people would like for their Metroidvanias but it's it's something and even if it's not a quote unquote proper metroidvania it's got some pretty cool kind of not puzzle platforming but stealth platforming i suppose mechanics that remind me of games in the past that i've played and enjoyed so if nothing else that's cool but also add on top of that the the voice acting which they're, they're working with i think a slightly ifly translated script uh, the the music was good the the visuals are great the hand animation is is excellently done it seems like there's a, a story that's going to build up there and of course if nothing else you've got that that in a mini game i do not know if that is based on a real life game or what but yeah forgot links quite interesting so far have you tried it let me know what you thought of forgot links in the comments i was going to say in the description you can't do that let me know what you thought of it if you've played it or just watched it in the comments section down below onwards to the next demo i've still got a few until next time thank you for watching stay safe stay fabulous cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time Cheerio.